Hi, I'm Dave with another installment of Summit Racing 101 where we discuss the basics of automotive tech. In this installment, we're going to be talking about brake lines, specifically uh, factory rubber style brake lines versus stainless steel braided brake lines and why you might want to upgrade to the stainless steel type. And really the reasoning for doing that would be one of three reasons. Number one, for overall looks. As you can see, uh, the stainless steel braided look is uh, kind of a racy, dressier look than a, a stock rubber brake line would provide. Uh, second reason would be abrasion resistance. If you um, have a vehicle that sees time, you know, maybe off-road or on a rough terrain and you're going to have rocks flying up underneath uh, your vehicle, uh, the stainless steel is a little bit more resistant to that than a rubber style brake line. So those are two main reasons and the third would be a performance based reason and that is oftentimes stainless steel brake lines provide a firmer brake pedal feel. And the reason for that is um, the rubber brake lines, they'll have a rubber inside and a thicker rubber outer layer to the brake, the brake line and um, as brake fluid is pushed through uh, the brake line naturally expands and that outer rubber layer doesn't do much to prevent over expanding of the brake line. Whereas a stainless steel outer layer to the brake line kind of contains the Teflon inner layer that comes with the stainless steel uh, type brake lines and prevents it from expanding too much and allowing too much fluid or a greater volume of fluid to be going through the brake line. So uh, that results in having a firmer pe uh, pedal feel whereas you know a higher volume of brake fluid going through is going to result in a mushier softer brake pedal feel so um, vehicles that come have a stainless steel type brake line on it are just going to give you that firmer brake pe pedal feel maybe a little bit more responsive feel okay having said all that why then would you want to stick with a rubber factory style brake line uh, basically as with anything else that comes in a factory it comes down to cost uh, rubber brake line is um, it's cheaper to use if you're going to upgrade or you're going to swap out your brake lines. Uh, a rubber style brake line is going to be cheaper. Um, also, uh, rubber brake lines are easier to inspect because you have the outer stainless steel braid on these. Uh, if there is anything lodged uh, that would get lodged in between the stainless steel outer layer and the Teflon inner layer, it would be hard to find that. Therefore, it's harder to maybe predict or, or foresee any future problems where the, the brake line inside would uh, fail. So those are the two main reasons there. But if you are going to upgrade to a stainless steel type brake line, it's important to make sure that you don't have any possible kinks or twists in the, in the brake line when you route it. And also uh, because uh, this is a very, stainless steel is very hard, you don't want to have it uh, dig in any of your components underneath the vehicle and you want to make sure there's no chassis components or any other type of components where it would rub up against this. So uh, routing, as always, is very important uh, when it comes to choosing your brake line. Now if you have any other questions regarding brakes, brake components, brake lines, or any other high performance related topics, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and watch any of our other quick flick videos.